Hello people of the internet, it's Sunday morning once again. Not so bright this morning. Anyway, hope you're all keeping well. And I've been tagged, that was just me showing you my cup of tea, I have no idea why. Um, I have been tagged by the lovely um, lady, uh, Yah Colouring, which I think means yes, colouring, <laughs> um, to do a the summer edition of the scavenger hunt, which I've never done a scavenger hunt. I don't even really know what it's about. I did go back and look at the originators and I've forgotten her name already. Oh, I'm so awful at tags. Hold on, let me go and check. Danny Buttons. <laughs> I have gone and watched her video because I wasn't sure at first whether it was pictures you're supposed to pick to colour, you know, for the you know, like, which is the summer one, it's the ones you've got, you've, you're picking that match to colour. But when I look, and it's just basically looking through your books and finding images that match the things. Um, now, you've probably seen the list, it's down below, and I'm just going to show it here. So they're all summer themed things, and the first one is, is the sun. Um, and uh, I thought that one would be really, really easy. <laughs> I'd easily find, you know, like a landscapey picture with a sun in it. I'm just trying to remember which book I actually found it in in the end. But what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to jump around this list because where I originally looked for the sun didn't exist. Um, and I actually started with the ones that I'd be able to find easy. So I thought, right, ice cream. I would definitely find that one in this book, the Kawhi Doodles colouring book. And let me... Take you all the way so you can see the book. Yes. Oh dear, oh dear. Don't, oh, I'm used to this on a Sunday morning. Got to get another cup of cocks. Um, tea in me. So yeah, look, there's an ice cream. And I thought, okay. Now I'm not overly fond of this book, and this book's actually on my um, get out of here list. Um, so I was like, oh, do I really want to colour that? Actually, it's got an umbrella in there as well. I just noticed that. And it's got a little drink of lemonade. Oh my word, maybe I will colour it and can it as strike three. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm mega fond of this. Oh my word, there's a cactus in there as well. Look, is that a cactus? It is. Maybe I should just colour this book this book in. Mm. There's another one. No, it's the same ice cream. Is that the same ice cream? Is that a picture in here twice? Oh well, pretty much. Oh look, isn't it funny when you look through the books properly on the scavenger hunt? Umbrella ice cream lemonade. Umbrella ice cream lemonade. Their eyes are just a bit different. Oh, how weird is that? And another cactus. Oh look, that really should have done this ahead of time. I guess that's an ice cream as well, isn't it? It's an ice cream sundae. Anyway, so I did find the ice cream in this one, but if the rules was, and I didn't know at that point, that you had to colour it, I thought to myself, well, I'm thinking of, you know, not keeping this book. Um, it's, it's in my, uh, I'm doing a, going through and decluttering some of my books. There's a video coming about it. And uh, so I thought, I'll, I'll try and find another umbrella. Uh, umbrella. Ice cream. I'll try and find another ice cream. So I put that one on one side. Um, then obviously, so I was still looking for an ice cream. I was still looking for an ice cream at this point. So I thought, okay, well, what I'll do is I'll definitely go and get a lighthouse because we all know where there's the lighthouse. And that's in Joanna Bashford's <laughs> World of Wonder book. And she also did a download of it. And then I thought to myself, no, everyone's going to do that. I've got to find, got to find another lighthouse. Okay. So I decided that I would get this book out. Um, and if the rules were that I was going to have to colour whatever I find, this is a book that I, I like doing colour by numbers. And I'm doing the really simple ones at the moment, like the Colour Quest Opia ones. And I've, this one I'm keeping because it's sort of like, once I get bored of the Colour Quest Opia ones, I want to do more complicated ones. So I dug through this book and I found, now you're not, you're not going to see it very well, but this lighthouse picture and I really like this and at the back you can see they show you an example of what they look like colored 
So there it is. There's a lighthouse picture, and I thought, yes, I found a lighthouse picture. That's fabulous. And as I was looking for these little pictures, I looked up there, and there was a man with a surfboard. And I thought, oh my word, there's a surfboard on here. I never thought that I would get a surfboard picture. So, surfboard, tick, lighthouse, tick. Because I don't have hundreds and hundreds of uh, colouring books, so I thought that I wasn't going to find all of these um, pictures in my books. So I was really happy, lighthouse and colouring book, and a book that I would actually enjoy doing them in. And then I went to the front to see the rest of the pictures, and there, Look, look what that is. Look, look. <laughs> Sounds like Bagpuss. It's a whale. So I've put a tag on him because I really like the light S picture. And I know the surfboard picture is the only uh, one I'm going to find in any of my books. And I thought, well, I'll put an orange tag on as in I might do the whale. But so far, light S tick, surfboard tick. Let's move on. Um, right. I then grabbed this book because I thought this book will have some, it's got a bit of everything in it. So it's got to have, I don't know, something in it. Uh, and I found this page, this ice cream page, and it's got ice lollies and an ice cream. And I actually think I prefer this ice cream page. Um, I shouldn't flick through when I'm talking to you because I'll probably find something else now. Quite a few of these pictures have um, ice cream cones and things in them. But yeah, I thought that's actually that's like a space rocket. <laughs> it's a space rocket, ice cream, ice lollies. And I just thought, yeah, I, I think I might actually enjoy that one. Not too detailed. So I've put a pink means um, they're probably the ones I'm going to choose. I'm sure I'm not doing this the way that everyone else is doing. Everyone else has already gone through, picked their 10 pictures, bish bash bosh, there are your 10 pictures. I'm sitting here going, hmm, I'd quite like to do that one. <laughs> so let's take ice cream, bish bash bosh, right? Oh, and whale, we found whale. Oh, but we might find another whale, so let's come back to that. So what's next, what's next? Oh, right. So I decided to look through this book because I was actually looking for a picture with the sun. And I was pretty sure that one of these weird pictures would have a sun or something. Now, none of them did, but I found this picture, which has got cactuses in it. In fact, the whole thing is really a sort of Mexican-themed cactus picture. And I've even coloured one of the cactus because I wanted to see how um, pencils worked on it. Um, so green means... Uh, this is definitely the page and I've already started colouring it and I'm actually gonna finish this page I really like it so yeah so that's me cactus cactus tick and that was bizarro land and lighthouse was colour by numbers colour by numbers landscapes and so was surfboard So was whale at that point, but and then ice cream was doodles in outer space. In space. Okay, what was next? So I'm still looking for a sun, still looking for an umbrella. Um, and I thought, well, I'll get this out. There's got to be some seashells and things in here. So what was the next one that I... Yeah, I looked through this one and this one's got these umbrellas in it. And I wasn't over keen. I mean, I do really like these uh, Denise Collette colouring books, but it didn't. these are little umbrellas in drinks. And, you know, this is inferior citrus, but that's not lemonade. That's going to be some cocktail. And I was like, mm, maybe. I'd quite enjoy colouring that page, but maybe. So I'll put a pink, a pink for maybe. And I carried on flicking through the book to see if there was any other bits and bobs. And then I found this. Look at that whale picture. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, not doing that whale in the colour by numbers that you saw earlier. I want to do this whale picture. Of course, I'm still working on the theory that we have to colour them. Because I hadn't watched the video at that point. I just started looking through my books. And I would much rather colour this one. Um, so that's my whale picture, which is in Mermaids in Paradise. Mermaids in Paradise. Okay, so what was next? What was next? 
Okay, so I still find it looking for a sun, an umbrella, uh, the citrus slices and seashells, and I went to get this book out. Now, I'm sure lots of people who are doing this summer tag, and I have only watched one, which is Yar Colouring's one. I haven't watched, um, oh, and I watched Danny Button's one as well. Um, so I don't know, but I'm guessing if anyone's got this book, this book's going to feature a lot. Because there's a sun on the front cover, I thought, bingo, I'm going to find a sun in here. And uh, there are lots and lots of sun pages, including this one. And I thought, okay, and it's got a lot of suns there. It's got a lot of suns there. So I've marked that as a orange. That's going to be my sun picture. So sun picture, uh, my summer walk. by Rita Berman um, and then so I carried on flicking through like you do like you do and I found this picture and this picture has the sun a proper nice umbrella a um, lemonade with a citrus fruit on it there's a shell and I was like okay hold on a second so this picture on its own will give me the sun the umbrella, the ice, no not the ice cream, the seashell and the lemonade slices. So effectively we pretty much finish the summary of things. So that one's on the radar as well and then there was one more on, yeah this one. This one again is like covers sun, ice cream, lemonade with citrus bits in it something else in it. You're probably all shouting at me going, there it is. No, nope. I think that's it. There's another ice cream over there. But I don't really like them ones that don't make up pictures, so that's not going to be one of the ones I colour. And out of the sun ones as well, that's probably not going to be one of the colour. Now, interestingly, this book was on my maybe to go pile. It's not one that I've coloured in yet, and I'm not 100% sure I like all the, the style of graphics. But I think I'd like to give it a go, you know. I think I'd like to... I've got all the seashells in that one. Is this not... I mean, cool, I was going to say, is this book not perfect for the summer scavenger tag? Well, yeah, but as it's called My Summer Walk, then probably. There's a lighthouse in here. Shells. If I find a surfboard, I reckon you could find every no there won't be a cactus will there I'm gonna look now if there's a surfboard in it that's it this book will cover oh look at that ice cream wow um it's this book will cover everything if there's a surfboard and a cactus in it I don't think there is though it's funny when you look at this is a really good tag because when you look at books with different eyes I just look at this book and go yeah no nah, it's not for me when you look for oh are they surfboards no they're canoes but look, if I just showed you that picture I could have got away with saying they were surfboards couldn't I but they're sitting in them and they're canoes <laughs> is that a surfboard or is that still a canoe probably still a canoe anyway rambling on let's finish the tag got the sun got the umbrella so these that is umbrella is from my summer walk and seashells are my summer walk and the lemonade is my summer summer walk so so far i've got definitely doing that one in the whale in that one the cactus in that one not going to do the umbrella in this one now because uh, not the umbrella the ice cream in this one now because i found the better ice cream i'm not doing the whale in this one now because I've got the um, surfboard and lighthouse in here. So one, two, three, four books. So I'm left with a picture of a sports mascot and a bonus show us your pet. So the next one is the picture of the mascot. So for example, it's a picture of a sports mascot. Example, Chicago Bears, each is a picture as a bear. Now. I thought I was going to struggle with this one, but then I realised it's pretty easy over in the UK because we've got Tottenham Hotspur that I've got that white bird on the top. Is it a flamingo? <laughs> How much do I? As if Tottenham Hotspur are going to have a flamingo as their logo. I just stopped, went to look it up, and oh, I've forgotten it already. 
It's the... It's a cockerel. It didn't look anything like a cockerel. It's a very... I thought it was always a long bird. But anyway, it's a cockerel. But it's it's like quite a lot of the um, football teams over here. I'm going to really show my non-knowledge. Have birds on them. Like West Point, Bromwich, Albion has a thrush on it. And is it Norwich are the canaries? And whoever... Some black and white team are the magpies. Is that... Is that um, Newcastle United I don't know um, but anyway lots and lots and I have four or five bird colouring books I really like bird I, I used to be a young ornithologist and I thought yeah it's going to be easy I'll just pick a bird and then I realised if the rules were that you had to colour in the book I ain't got no mandala books so I decided I was going to cheat not cheat as such but basically the Irish rugby football team has <laughs> mascot, logo, whatever you want to call it, is a shamrock. So as long as I can find a free leaf mandala, oh there's one, <laughs> in here, I, there you go, that is a representation of the Irish football team's logo, shirt logo mascot emblem whatever you want to call it now i just oh look at that one that one is oh they're they're clovers rather than shamrocks shamrocks have three and clovers have well clovers have three but four leaves clovers i oh, lucky that one's really irish looking isn't it so cheating well it's not really cheating because i still found one so i got it down to i got it down to four books in all reality i could make it sorry five books there's five books there um, I could use the whale in the other one and only have four books, which isn't bad, you know. Um, and I'm left with the, the last one, the bonus one, your dream pet. Now, I could have said unicorn and grabbed my million unicorns book by Lula Mayo. Or I could have said bird and <laughs> used one of my bird books. But my dream pet is a dog. I have always had dogs and recently, not recently, 2019, lost um, my dog went to Rainbow Bridge and we're waiting to get another one. We have to wait till the little paw prints in your heart for that particular dog heal so that when you get a, a new one it's not a replacement. So I'm still, we want wanting a dog. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, it would be disingenuous of me to put any other pet, to find a picture of any other animal and call it my dream pet, unless it was a dog. And I really struggled finding a picture of a dog in my current book collection. Just as about, as I was about to get up, I looked through this book. And there are just about every animal under the sun in this book. And then I found this. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. He's on two pages, so I get to choose. Look at the little corgi. And there he is again, surrounded by, wow, they are Christmas lights by the looks of him. Actually, they're both quite Christmassy. I don't know what the corgi's got to do with Christmas, really. But I was like, my dream pet i mean maybe not exactly a corgi but it's a dog um yeah so that was it i was really surprised how little dog pictures i had i've got foxes and wolves and pigs and chickens and birds coming out of the wazoo but yeah finding a dog is really difficult so that's it that's my scavenger um and it's my first ever one, so if I've done it wrong, I'm really sorry. But I had fun looking through my books. It was really interesting looking through my books and going, oh, I didn't realise that picture had ice creams in it. And seeing the Rita Berman book with new eyes, this one was really enlightening for me because when I'd look through this one, I thought, oh, it's a bit too zen doodly for me. It's not for me. I'm going to put it in my maybe pile. But then looking through, you know, trying to find pictures to colour for this challenge, I was like, yeah, it'd be fun. It'd be fun. So I am actually going to try and do some of this colouring in some of these images in this book um this month i mean it's june so i, I don't i when i colour i usually gravitate towards a mandala or a patterny book at the moment anyway i do other colouring as well but it's just i'm so stressed and busy at work at the moment that i need the the 
really the stuff that just lets you unwind quite quickly rather than if I went straight into a detailed colouring after work I'd be like that <laughs> while I tried to work out the uh, aggravation of work um, so yeah but so maybe for June, June, July and August which is like the summer quarter I am going to try and colour all the ones that I've listed here so we'll come back to this we'll come back to this people of the internet take care